Hey guys, welcome back, and today I'm going to be talking about um, 30 Seconds to Mars and the news that Tom has left the band. Now, as much as it might not come as a massive um, surprise or shock, and since Tom hasn't really made many appearances on the Monolith tour, still a shame and you have to say all the best to him um, it's very hard to make that kind of decision as a musician but it's for the best for him and honestly I don't know what's going to happen for Mars from here on like one of the things that I've talked about a lot since America was released um, or in the round two being released was the moment in the trailer for it when Jared later said this might be our last chance to do what we love and that's what America sounds like um, whenever I talk about it as an album I always talk about the ending to it in which um, for Ryder Jared later finishes the lyrics you will miss me when I'm gone. It's a poignant way to end an album because what it goes into is an instrumental section that ends when a bar ends. It doesn't have like a slow fade out, it just stops. That's natural. But it's bittersweet. Because the music scene now is artists do something new, which is what artists are supposed to do. You're not meant to have the same music regurgitated again and again and again. And the fact that we've gotten into a culture where musically that is the norm, it's really disappointing. I mean, you can see me right here wearing an Ed Shikari shirt. I've got the um, cover for The Spark in the background. And if you've watched any of my videos before, you know I have a massive poster for them up there from, again, it's promoting The Spark. But... They're a band who have constantly been redefining themselves, constantly been exploring new uh, directions to take. And each album's been awesome because it's done that. But when Linkin Park were working on One More Light, they got slated for all of uh, all of their songs because it didn't sound like Hunting Party, or it didn't sound like Meteor, or it didn't sound like Hybrid Theory. And I'll admit, I was critical of the um, inclusion of songwriters. I know that's what they were experimenting with for the album. I honestly didn't like it. I think it still created good music, but well, my opinion was I got the album so I wanted to listen to how they wrote, because to me, their writing is beautiful. But I don't understand why people would take it to the degree of, oh, you should just stop. Because your music is different. Mars for America was a sonic evolution from Love, Lost, Faith and Dreams. And I, I like America as an album. I really do. I think it's amazing. And I think so many of the tracks off of it are pretty cool as well, especially ones where you've got experimental kind of features. But I think it's a nice time for them to... I do think that it's come to a point now where they are prepared to stop. And they're prepared to go, OK, we, need to do some, we want to do something else with our lives. And you know what? Sometimes that's what artists need. Sometimes that means you come back together. Um, Feed is a good example of that. Uh, taking a break after a freak show, going on hiatus, and then coming back, doing All Bright Electric, and then the best of Arrow, and working on from there. Sometimes it's a good thing to do, to um, take a break and then come back. But at the same time, sometimes you do feel like it's time for you to move on and do something else with your life. 
like I would love to see more 30 Seconds to Mars music. I'd love to see more music by the Leto Brothers. But what, what I'd love to see is if they are to continue working as themselves, I wouldn't like to see them using the tag 30 Seconds to Mars. And that's my personal view. Um, I think they should run something un under some kind of name which says, look, we are the Leto Brothers and this is what we're doing same time I know they're touring bassist um, I know he did a lot of work for America he's accredited he's credited as um, staff for most of the tracks on the album but if they include him by all means continue going I think it's a nice place for them to go and do something else now if they want to stay in music I would love to see them working under a new name because whenever I think Thirty Seconds to Mars, I think of I I either think of the three of them, Tomo, um, Jared, and Shannon, or I think of the four of them and include um, Matt, their bassist, their bassist early on. It's like I said at the top of this video. It's a shame that this has happened. It's and at the same time, I wish Tomo all the best. But my uh, my view is that Mars have gotten uh, got to a brilliant point where they've got a great ending. If they if they choose to leave now, they've got a great way to end. They've ended brilliantly. But it's. It'll be a shame. It will be. Anyway, thanks for watching. I, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. It's seven odd minutes long. Um, I hope you'll check out some of my other content. Or I hope to see you around again soon. I, I like it when I do videos like this where I can sit down and talk about some kind of deep issue with something that isn't inherently political. So thanks for watching. I'll I'll see you next time. Bye bye.